What up, it's your boy Rex Walls, bringing you everything you need to know about the gift in 120 seconds. No spoilers, of course. So getting right into it, this feature begins a lot like a Lifetime movie. The setup is very general, we get a lot of information about the characters right off the bat. Now a couple years ago, I was messing with this girl who turned me on to Lifetime. I mean, we watch Lifetime and chill. But that was a big part of our relationship, and I learned a lot about movies at the time. I'm gonna get into that later, but the gift, the entire first act is very predictable. Not in a bad way, but if you watch the trailers, you're getting exactly what you signed up for. But then it changes. It shifts from a Lifetime movie to an eerie, mysterious, almost Hitchcock-esque film, if you will. And this is when it really takes off, and it kind of brought me back to my Lifetime girlfriend. See, we used to throw this word around, juicy. Oh, that movie was juicy. She'd call me, hey, did you see the commercial for so-and-so? That was juicy. Turn that off. People, this movie has the juice. Kermit sipping tea, whatever you want to call it. It's two or three moments leading up to the climax that literally made me drop my jaw. Damn! And then the ending, oh, I mean, the ending will make your head explode. Oh, damn! And the last thing I want to bring up is Jason Bateman. Usually the funny guy here, he delivers the most powerful performance of his career, without a doubt. I'm not on my hands and knees crying about it, praying about it, stuck in the fucking past about it. I moved on, I made something of my life. This world's about fucking winners and losers. There is no Jason Bateman here. You can't find a shred of him. Amazing, amazing performance. Thanks for watching more reviews at rexwalls.com where we talk about movies, music, and TV in a minute. All right, let's go for that one more time. One more.